I saw you reading a primitive looking message board on your laptop during our torts class. What forum is that? It is called AutoAdmit or XOXOTH, the most prestigious law school discussion board in the world. Wow, that sounds impressive. How do I get in on that? Register on the site with a moniker. Typical monikers include a series of punctuation symbols, obscure references, and racial or sexual references that IRL would be considered offensive. What? Why is it prestigious if the monikers are so offensive? Because politically correct monikers are 138. 138? Yes, you TTT faggot. Why are you getting angry and using weird terms? Lol what? Oh sorry, after so much posting, I have adopted board memes and lingo in my everyday language. Understand Pumo? I suppose. What types of people post there? Mostly Aspie virgin losers. I think they did a poll and it's mostly white guys, but lots of essence and a few attention-seeking girls. Aspie? What's that? Wigwag. What? Never mind. So are these people law students or lawyers? Are they actually from prestigious schools and law firms? It's a mix. Most these days were wound by ITE and spend hours posting about boning CGWBTs or cheerful girls with big tits. Of course most never have and never will, ITE, in this economy or during the recession. It's a popular mem and it seems like board posters were disproportionately affected. What other topics are commonly discussed? Wigwag. What? You mean that? Um. To answer your previous question, surprisingly while most of the board are TDT losers, there is still a significant contingent of law students from T6 or T14 schools and who work at top firms. Some law clerks, business students, and law firm partners frequent the site. Of course others have nothing to do with law or any profession and are just angry PPL. Wow, so talking with some of them might be useful for my burgeoning legal career? Not really, because to answer your other question, the topics now rarely involve discussing big law. Most topics are lengthy screeds against minorities and women. Blacks and Jews are particularly popular. Others involve pointless diatribes and flame wars regarding current events and workout routines. Also many posters enjoy assuming personalities whereby they are actually successful or take on characteristics they wish they had IRL. If posts were to believed, most posters are 6 foot 2 inches and 215 pounds of muscle, bang a new super middle every week, graduated from Harvard UG and Harvard Law or B school and now make over 500k at a large PE fund at age 25. In reality, most posters are 5 feet 5 basement aspie virgins who are verging on kill self. Most other posts involve things dudes in their 20s would commonly discuss like sports and how to get laid. Go on. You want to hear more? Other popular threads include endless trolling for cities and various comparisons, for example comparing Chicago and New York City. Another consistent thread is trolling for any profession other than law. If the board is to be believed, the credited path in life is to go to an HSWB school and then work at as an I banker at a BB before becoming VP and then MD at an HF slash PE shop. In light of ITE, board members believe doing anything else other than law, bro, is better, including traditionally TTT professions such as pharmacy, sales, and computer science. Also because many posters are Asian or suffer from yellow fever, many posts concern quitting their current shitty jobs and escaping to a life in a third world East Asian country. All these threads are underlawed by the board's zero-sum game mentality and accompanying obsession with maximizing prestige, models and bottles, QOL, while minimizing COL. These people actually enjoy such topics, indeed. We often give LSAT scores for how well executed a flame is. 180 for good posts, 120 for pores. And everything in between. So is the board even safe and doing well? Some may argue out admit is now TTT in decline. But I think naysayers are elaborate flame. Not surprisingly the board has not been without controversy. For example, the posters held a T14 hot contest in 2007 or so, wherein they posted pictures and names of attractive girls they knew in their law schools. 
As I understand it, the two female Yale Law students took offense and sued the site, also hired Reputation Defender, an online service that specializes in cleaning up online profiles. Defendants in the complaint were named by monikers and included names such as AK-47 and Paulu Alnitz. The complaint contained excerpts of board discussions where posters raved about creaming all over their fun bags. There is more about this controversy and others on Wikipedia, there is an entry on this board, but the site survived the lawsuit, Titaker, what, tit cream? That is the credited response, you don't seem like a weirdo. Why do you post and use the site? Because behind all the garbage, there are a lot of funny cool dudes who can actually answer many questions and have interesting converse regarding various hot button issues. Also, the site is somewhat useful for advice on lending prefigious clerkships, big law gigs at V10 firms, and avoiding shit log. As we all know, it's big law or bust. DOJ is overrated, and mid law is a decadent internet myth. Anyhow back to posting and reading the forum for me. I'm eager to read about the latest trials and many many tribulations of board megaposters such as Estrada, D, TMF, Earl, Tigre, Whoopsie Daisy, and Ratchmeal. I think I'll go back to reading my case books, Wigwag. Ding fag.